so you've downloaded your kit bash kit and your octane textures are not linked I'm going to show you how to relink them um, just for redundancy here in case somebody hasn't done this you download your uh, kit bash file it's going to be in a compressed octane folder and what you want to do is put that in tutorial can we spell today you don't want to put that in a new directory folder obviously because Cinema 4D can't access files from a compressed file I know you guys already know that but if you don't there you go we're just going through the process so that there's no hang-ups with anybody in the comments alright now we're gonna open that in Cinema 4D you'll notice you have all your assets but the image textures aren't linked so I'm just gonna show you how to do that quickly without relinking 300 different files which I have had to do I earned my stripes so anyway shift C type in octane texture material manager sorry octane texture manager it's gonna bring up this window make it bigger if you want to see things and what we need to do is all of the files are gonna have the old path that whoever generated this file at kitbash had and we're gonna replace it with our new directory so when you click any of the files here on the right side in the properties manager you're gonna take the whole thing except for the file it's pointing to just the directory path so you know in this case it goes all the way up to kb3d textures backslash you're gonna copy that you're gonna bring that down to the replace file name paste it in make sure that backslash is in there and then we're gonna go to our folder that we created the texture folder that we copied and we're going to copy the address and we're gonna paste that into width and now this is very important make sure you add a backslash if you don't it's not gonna work I've made the mistake a few times it's it's hard to it's easy to do and hard to uh, reverse what you did to figure out what you did wrong so anyway after we do that hold down shift select all click replace it's gonna take a minute but these are all gonna update now all of the files for the materials will update and that's that word to the wise uh, don't immediately click your don't fire up your live viewer right away with all those assets in there because um, I don't know there's just a, sometimes an issue with VRAM uh, so what I do is I actually will come in and just look in the uh, Cinema 4D live viewer I'm, and I'll kind of take what I like and I'll bring it into another file to work with it which I'll do right now boom copy this thing in there it's loading loading all the files okay cool so we'll back up Jesus I mean they're great assets so take a little bit to load and click render and you'll see that the textures are all loaded boom there it is now you're off to the races making your visual art and animations and whatever else you're making I'm working on an animation right now um, where I'm using th 3d elements but making it 2d what are you working on leave a comment <laughs> click like share subscribe share this with people that are using kickbash because I, I noticed that the information is out there of how to do this but it's scattered and I just wanted there to be like a one-stop resource that just had boom 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 these are the steps so I made it because it didn't exist alright thanks for watching I appreciate that